Hey guys, and welcome to another video. I do whatever it takes. Yeah, take me to the top. I'm ready for whatever it takes. Cause I love the adrenaline in my veins. Good morning, guys. So now I am getting ready to do check ins. It's Friday the 4th. But I just wanted to show you guys how I wake up. I wake up really dry in the mornings. My legs are looking fuller than usual. But if I don't flex, I'm fine. When I flex, you can see all that definition. Posing changes everything. Yeah, let's see what Coach says. Good morning, guys. So it's Saturday. So we're officially seven days out from show day. I just woke up, so we have to no make up and nothing. I'm really excited. Peak week is looking really good. We're not changing a lot. We're really just adding a few carbs as we go and really it's very like the changes are minimal I'm really excited about it and I think it's gonna be good so yeah let me show you what I'm eating this is what I'm having for breakfast I made these a few weeks back that you guys saw them in a vlog it's basically oats vital wheat gluten stevia and usually I add some PB2 powder and then microwave it until it gets hard and I can flip it like this and it looks kind of like a little cake. So it's another variation of my protein mug cake. So you can either do my protein mug cake or do these. I'm just keeping these extra simple. It's peak week, we don't wanna like add anything. We wanna keep everything very predictable so I'm keeping it this simple. And I flipped it and I put it pretty, you know, you know me, I have to be a little extra with my food. <laughs> I'm having that with 12 ounces of coffee. I do two espresso shots and then the rest is just water. And I have two of those a day, especially when I'm getting closer to show day. These blueberries are amazing. These oats are so simple, but since they have the vital wheat gluten that has a lot of protein, they fill me up so much. And I know you guys are gonna ask, I put a quarter cup of vital wheat gluten in there and that's kind of what makes it cakey. You could substitute for any protein powder that doesn't have wheat if you do not want to do any wheat or gluten. I've done it before, it's, we call them proats, but they won't come out in this texture. So they'll come out kind of like a thick, oatmeal consistency play around with it um, I'll put my protein mug cake on the description box below it's really delicious I had it all throughout my prep and that same recipe I kind of mashed it up with my regular waffle recipe and that's what I've been having for the past three weeks for breakfast just my waffle recipe made in pancakes and waffles so same ingredients I just switch it up and have a little fun in the kitchen get a little creative with spices and things like that but again, it's peak week, so we're going to eat plain old boring food because we want to have everything predictable. Oh, and before I forget, as far as my proteins go, I am going to keep my tofu and tempeh because I love tofu and tempeh and that's my personal favorite. I know a lot of you are like, why do you do so much soy? I actually really do not have any problems with soy. I have done plenty of research on it. I have no problems digesting it. I've been having it for over six years and I just love it so it's my favorite and I'm going to pick things that I like I am switching out my veggies last time on my meal prep video I showed you guys I use kale and zucchini this time I am picking green beans and Brussels sprouts I think they're gonna keep better when I travel the other stuff kept good but I think these will keep even better and it's good to just switch it up for other greens to give me a little bit more variety as far as fat I was doing avocados but this time since I'm traveling a lot I am gonna have avocado on a few days if I'm traveling or all over the place I'm probably just gonna have almonds oh the edamame beans so I took out the edamame beans from the plan some of the days I'm actually using brahmi beans, which are really good because these guys are perfect for those of you that do not like soy or wheat. This one is garlic and herb and I've been air frying it for 400 for 15 minutes and then I let it cool completely so they get really crunchy just like the edamame beans would and they get super yummy. So I'm having these instead. I'm really excited. Just 
little things like that that I switch out. I am following a meal plan leading up to show day, but I'll, I'll switch things out. So it's kind of like a flexible dieting meal plan, if that makes sense. But yeah, these are just beans. They're lupini beans and they're packed with protein. So one whole bag is 21 grams of protein, 21 grams of carbs, and three grams of fat pretty damn good macros. You can throw them on top of salads, just snack on them, air fry them like I do. My, my obsession with the air fryer is real, guys. So yeah, I know a lot of you want to know about water and sodium intake, and really he just upped my water and upped my sodium. On show day, we're not even cutting water. I mean, we are reducing it, but I'm still having 16 ounces with every meal. That's something new I have never done. I'm really learning something new, and I'm gonna see if it works, if it doesn't. This is all an experiment, guys. Just remember, I don't share macros with you guys, and I don't share my specifics just because we are all, all different and I say this over and over and you guys still want to know. I understand your curiosity, but you have to understand that since we're all different, I don't want to give the wrong idea to somebody and then, you know, gain weight or even lose weight, like a lot of weight. I have adapted my body to higher calories, so I've always been able to diet on higher calories. But as we get close to show days, peak week and all that is not a diet I follow all year round. I follow the, my regular diet all year round and peak week is just done in peak week. So I'm gonna go through everything with you guys, but I won't go into details of what are my macros because A, they change every day since we're adding carbs every day to fill me up and fill my muscles up and make me look good. But even my teammates, they might be doing a similar protocol, but they're all in different macros. All of us are. Just have that in mind. And I would suggest getting a good coach that takes care of you, that really explains you things as you go and not just throws things at you without explaining anything. I'm gonna dig into this food because I'm starving and yeah, I'll see you guys later. This is the Angel Competition Bikini Beachwear. I just finished practicing some posing. This week is all about putting the whole package together, just relaxing. I'm just doing light pump up work throughout the week. And don't worry guys, I'll bring you along for everything. So yeah. So I'm just preparing lunch and I'm just cooking over medium heat, sweet potatoes and green beans. And that's just water. That's how I saute without using any oils. And I just seasoned this with dry onion and what else? Oh, I put a ton of dill. I'm obsessed with dill. So that's it. I also air fried some tempeh. If you do not have an air fryer, you can just bake at 400 until desire consistency. So simple, but yet so yummy and wholesome. As an afternoon snack, I'm just having 50 grams of blueberries. Today is actually a high carb day. So tomorrow, carbs are gonna be dropped, so I'm probably not gonna have as many. I'm just enjoying these, so delicious. They're in season. Going to dig into these. So for dinner, I'm cooking the same thing I did um, for lunch, with the exception I switched out my veggies. So I switched my green beans for Brussels sprouts for dinner time and then I switched my tempeh for tofu. So this is my dinner. I added some air fried tofu and yeah. Good morning guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the realness. I am taking no time to getting ready. I am doing nothing. <laughs> I just wanted to keep it real. After all, it is my diary series. I woke up today at actually my stage weight from last year is 105 and for those of you asking I'm barely 5'3 I am a short human I'm looking a little bit harder than yesterday check out those legs oh my god that's insane I don't think I ever look like that this far out usually that's like my show day that's insane I slept a little over eight hours which is amazing. I went to bed at 8 like a grandma, but I needed it. I really needed to focus on rest and all that. I gotta get my morning cardio done after my breakfast. I'll do some posing practice, 
start packing because tomorrow I have a really busy day and I won't have any time for packing. I think that's it. So this is my water for today. I am going to put two scoops of clean BCAA, the fruit punch guys, not the plain unflavored one. The fruit punch is the one you need to get. The unflavored one is in case you want to put it in your smoothies. I'm going to start off my morning with some water and apple cider vinegar. I'm just gonna put about a tablespoon. So yesterday I shared on my Instagram my oats and you guys were asking that I should show how I make them even if it's super simple. So in here I have some oats. I have half a cup of oats, which is 40 grams of oats, and then 30 grams of vital wheat gluten, which is a quarter cup. And I measure everything by grams. It just makes it a lot easier to track. And I'm adding a little bit of pumpkin spice for flavor and stevia. This is my favorite brand. I haven't found a baking stevia that I like. So if you guys know of any baking stevia that you like, please recommend it in the comment section down below. I'm really looking for one and I haven't found one that I like. So I'm just gonna mix that up. And if you guys do not want to use any vital wheat gluten, just substitute for any vegan protein powder that you like. So depending on how runny you like your oats, you're going to add water. And yesterday I made them a little bit thicker and that's how I was able to get them out like in a cake form. But today I want them a little bit runnier so I added 10 ounces of water. And I'm just gonna pop in the microwave So there it is, my oats. This is how I like them. They're a little bit firm. And then I added some blueberries. And yeah, make sure to check out my mug cake recipe. This is a variation on that. And my mug cake recipe is actually delicious, super tasty. I just simplified it a lot for peak week just to make things predictable. But the original one is really good. Check it out. So I'm getting two cardio sessions done today and one in the morning, one in the afternoon, 30 minute each one, no weights. Today is another rest day, active rest day. For the most part, my food will be exactly the same um, with the exception of sweet potatoes because my carbs are being dropped today just a little bit. So I'm taking some of my sweet potato off from my meals, but I'm still having some. That's why I picked the meals that I picked for this week, just because it's easy to take or add if coach adjusts anything. Like for example, he drops my carbs, I'll take some sweet potatoes out, and if he ups them, I'll add some in. For the most part, fat and protein stay the same, so carbs are my basically my variable here. They're still pretty high, so I'm happy. And when they get dropped, um, they get dropped to a moderate range. It never goes like low carb. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm just gonna dig into this breakfast. See you guys later. Here we go, after. Meal one, muscles are filling out quite nicely. So I'm just gonna monitor everything throughout the day and see how I look. But so far so good, this is a really good sign, especially leading up to show day. I wanna like pay attention to little things like that, how I look after each meal, how we fill out. So yeah, I'm really happy. The full package is gonna look really, really cool at the end. Almost there guys. I'm just gonna get ready, go to the gym, do my cardio for 30 minutes, just a slow, steady state incline walk. I'm not gonna film that, it's pretty boring to watch. I just wanna be in the zone, guys, so hope you understand. So I'm just gonna walk, come here, pose, and then eat.
So this is my post uh, cardio and post posting snack and I'm still having the roasted edamame beans and you guys were asking me last time where did I get them and I got them on Amazon. I'm going to see if I can find a link and put it in the description box. Um, but yeah, I got it in bulk and this has lasted me like a long time. So, um, and then I mixed in some brahmi beans and I basically just roasted these. Uh, you can eat them raw straight out of the package, but I roasted them on my air fryer for 400 for 15 minutes. If you do not have an air fryer, you could just do it in your oven for 400 and just be keeping an eye on them just to make sure they don't burn. Uh, and like I said before, this is a great option for those of you that want to hit your protein without using any soy or wheat. So yeah, check them out. I just did like a little mixture here and I'm gonna snack on that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for following along my journey. We're only a week out, so I'm super excited to bring you along my whole entire prep. This has been amazing. Thank you, thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.